Today, I'm going to show you version two of Evo Development's Advanced Canine Script with more features, revamped designs, and ultimate realism. First, there are more custom models for the doghouse cage and canines. The canines have more appearance options like vests, hats, glasses, and a leash, which can be adjusted to your liking. There's also an updated training system in UI, so you can track and manage the canine's attributes and levels with ease and use custom animations when performing or having them perform actions. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and see the preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. Once you're here, you can select the script based on your framework, so the QB K9V2 or the ESX K9V2. When you click it, you can see options for the preview and documentation, as well as the features and other helpful information. If and once you purchase, go to your Keymaster and Granted Assets, then find the resource and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. Next, go to the documentation and be sure you're in the V2 section. There's a tab for the features with pictures, the installation steps, commands, and exports. So go back to the installation section and first make sure you have all the dependencies. And the next thing to do will be running the SQL. If you don't know how to do this, I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. Then I'll go back to the documentation, and the next step is adding the items. Of course, choose the one that fits your server. So I'll use the QB inventory code and copy it. Then go into the resources, into the QB folder, find QB core, then go into the shared folder and open the items section. And I'll just add these at the bottom. For the images, go back to the K9 script folder. Into the images folder and copy them all. So I'll use Control A and Control C. You need to add them to your inventory. So go into QB, find QB inventory, go into HTML and images, and then paste what I copied. Then I'll go back to the documentation. And the next step is for the inventory integration. So I'll choose the section for QB and copy it. Then go back to QB inventory, into the server folder, and into the function slot Lua. And I'll paste what I copied all the way at the bottom. The last thing to look at is the config. So go back to the K9 folder once more. Find the config and open it up. The first things are the language and inventory followed by sections for time and amounts regarding the canine's health, hunger, thirst, and their attribute levels. Then there's the shop and the items inside with the item name, label, and price. Next are the canine spawn locations, which are the dog houses with the name, location settings, and house model. Then there's a section for the food and drink and how much it increases for the canine, followed by an animation time to consume, the blip for the canine, and color settings for the UI. Next are options for when the dog is far from the owner. There's commented out text that explains each option, but I won't be changing that. Then there are animations and categories for the owner or player, and more for the dog, followed by the option to remove items after use and the length of the leash. The last section are items the canines can find and the level they must be to detect it. If you made changes, be sure to save it and start your server and test it out. So I'm back in the server now and at the canine spawn location. So you have the wooden looking model and then this black one, which both look very nice. So go ahead and go over here and create a dog. So I'll click add new dog and for the name, I'll do Luna and then choose the breed. Now in here, you can click or use the first set of arrows to cycle through, and then the second set to cycle through the variation. So 
so I'll choose this one. And then once you have the name and the breed chosen, you can go ahead and create the dog. And then it brings you back to the main menu where you can see the name, the breed, and the attributes. You can also see the shop. So I'll go ahead and go in and buy one of each. And once you add it, you can set the amounts. So I'll do that. And then you can choose to pay with bank or cash. I'll do bank. Then once you're back on the main menu again, if you click the dog, you have the option to edit or delete it. So I'll go ahead and edit and start going through some of the clothing customization. Starting with the vest, you have none, which is default, of course, tactical and normal. You can also use the arrow keys to rotate so you can see everything. So I'll choose tactical and then cycle through the textures and make it black. Then I'll move on to the hats and there are some cute options to choose from in here. And you can cycle through it and change the color as well. Okay, and the decal section is for the vest. So I'll choose tactical and it brings up a department name. And there are quite a few to choose from in here. Uh, so I'll do this one. Next, I'll move on to the collar. And I'll actually do the flashlight to show off that feature. And then the last one, the glasses. Which are also cute. I'll do those tactical ones. So I'll go back and save it. And then if you double click, the dog will come out. And you just interact with the house and the dog will disappear. So I'll bring the dog out again. And the UI comes up. To expand it, the button is O. You can also change that in your 5M key bindings, which I'll show quickly. So go to the settings, go to key bindings, go to the 5M section, and then find the section for Evo K9 V2. And then you have all the key binds here. That's the one for the menu. So I'll go ahead and expand the menu. And you can use the arrow keys to cycle through the sections and then enter to engage with the section so you can go down and up. So I'll send the dog over there. And then have it come back. I'll show the searching later. And then you have the leash options. So once you click leash, you attach the leash, of course. And the dog will follow. You also have the dog lead. So I'll go ahead and start moving. It goes in front of me. And then again, I'll click it to stop. And I'll change the time for the light. And it'll be enabled. And then to take the leash off, just use the leash one again. And the last things in here are the commands or the order so you can make them sit or lay down. And I'll make it follow again. And then to move to the next section after you've been in this one, hit backspace. And then you can use the arrow keys again. I'll go over the training later, but the settings section is for the UI. So you can change the position to left, uh, in the middle or the center, and right. You can also make it higher on the screen, toward the middle, in the center, or towards the bottom. So I'll put it up there. And then you can refresh the dog or the UI and transfer ownership by putting in the player's ID. Now this section's for the animations. So when you use the order uh, command, it'll do that. And you can cycle through and change what it shows. I'll just do that one. Um, same for the searching. 
do two. And then for when you're calling the dog, I do the whistle one. And this last one's for when the dog finds something. So I'll go ahead and look at the dog. And that's one they can do. The second one, the third one, and the fourth one, which is just sitting. And that one's scratching. So I just leave it like that for now. And then the last section in here is for the canine's attributes for so their hunger and thirst levels, um, their stamina, attack, and the smell. So I'll make the dog get in the vehicle, which is under the action section. And then to take it out, you do the same thing. And it lets you know they're following. So go ahead and do it again. Then head to a bigger area to show the training. I'll start with the smell training. I will mention I did increase the level. While training, if the dog's level isn't high enough to find the weed, it will increase by the amount set in the config. So go over to the training section under smell and then go ahead and bury it then i move out of the way so i can see and start the training so to go ahead and search for it okay and let you know the dog found the weed Alright, so I'll make it follow again, and then I'll move on to the stamina training. Then once you start, you can set the amount of cones. I'm just going to do two for now. And I'll go through and run the course. And once they're done, the cones disappear, and the dog's following again. So next, I'll do the attack training. And again, you can set the amount of targets. I'll do three this time. Let you know the attribute was increased. And they'll start to disappear once that training is over. In the action section, there's an area for searching. You can search a person, an area, or a vehicle. Now with the person, there's no one nearby, so it lets you know the dog couldn't locate anyone. For the area, when you hit enter, you'll see the radius or zone pop up. I'll keep it small for now. Then you press E to confirm. And once they find a scent, the dog will come to you. Now for the vehicle, I did put bags of coke in the trunk. So use the arrow keys in the menu and have the dog search the vehicle. Okay. Once they find something, they'll do the alerting animation and you also get a notification message for it. The last thing I'll show are the cages. There are two models for it, so you can use them from your inventory and then press E to place it. So I'll place this one and then the next one. And when you third eye, you can call the dog, call the dog inside or pick up the cage. And for this one, you can open the cage door. And then you have those same options. So I'll call the dog inside. Close the door and then pick up the cage. Then you can place it again, turn it around. And call the dog back. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.